Welcome back to Norton Tesla. What's the difference between regular autopilot and full self-driving? The great thing about ordering a Tesla is you're not bombarded with all kinds of decisions like most legacy auto with their endless amounts of steering packages, driving packages, suspension packages, winter packages, option this, option that, this and that. It's sometimes ridiculous. With Tesla, you basically pick your colors and your wheels and that's it. The only other question is if you want to add the full self-driving package. I did another video where I cover if FSD is worth it. You can check that one up right up here. But this time, I want to go a little more in-depth on the differences between regular autopilot that comes standard with every car and the full self-driving feature. And while we're at it, I'll add FSD beta as well. But before I get into it, please take a moment and subscribe. So let's go over the differences between autopilot and full self-driving. I'll then touch on FSD beta a little later since eventually everyone will be on beta, apparently, hopefully. So we're gonna quickly go over what autopilot can do. Basically it keeps your lane. So it'll stay between your lanes. So you'll see these two blue lines. That's what keeps you in your lane, as well as keep uh, the distance in front of the car in front of you. So if it speeds up or if it breaks, it will break for you and basically keep you in your lane and drive automatically. Now, the difference between autopilot and full self-driving is in terms of lane changes for one. So with full self-driving, if you don't have full self-driving, if you want to change your lane, you're going to have to take autopilot off, make your lane change and do it yourself and then turn autopilot back on. If you have an FSD enabled car, you can signal on and it'll make your lane change on its own. The other thing is if you turn on navigate on autopilot, it will make your lane changes automatically. So whether that being based on the route that you're going or if the car in front of you is driving too slow, it will actually make change lanes and uh, go ahead of that slower car. So you'll see here that my exit is coming up, so it will exit appropriately. So that did it all on its own without any intervention. So. That's the advantages of FSD over autopilot and highway driving. Now, when it comes to the city, uh, if you have autopilot on and it will, if you have lane markings, it will work. However, with stop signs, it will beep at you and tell you you're going through a stop sign, but it will do nothing to stop it. With FSD, whether you have FSD beta or not, it will stop at stop signs. And with regular FSD, you just have to give it a little notification for it to go, such as a tap of the steering wheel or the stock. And with FSD beta, of course, it does it all by itself. And that goes the same with red lights. So that's what autopilot and FSD have in common. Obviously, FSD is capable of much more, Right now in its current state, it will do navigating on autopilot, which basically takes you from on-ramp to off-ramp. It'll navigate towards that appropriate lane so that you can make that exit. Also, if you take different highways along your route, it will make sure you go to the appropriate highway. Also does summon, which uh, brings the car forward and back, which is actually really useful. I use this one a lot. There's sharp, smart summon, which basically, um, if you're in the mall parking lot, it'll bring the car to you at the front door, which is cool when it works. It is a little bit slow and confusing at times but it does work. And then uh, there's also um, auto park, which of course parks itself. Now I do find that one really slow as well, but if you are the type of person who struggles with parallel parking or reversing in tight spaces, then it would probably be good for you. Now, obviously autopilot will do none of those things or come even close. The differences between FSD and FSD beta is that with the beta, you'll have these fancy new visualizations on the screen and you can tell your car to take you anywhere and it will navigate there regardless of highway or city and drive itself. So that includes all turns, roundabouts, it will proceed through intersections and lane changes without any driver input. It will also activate anywhere, well mostly anywhere, while regular FSD requires uh, lane markings. According to Elon, all the FSD cars will have beta this year. To be clear, it is 2022, so he did say this year, so hopefully 2022, all FSD cars will have beta. All right, the cost. Well, autopilot is obviously free and included with every car. And FSD in the US is 12,000 or 199 a month for the subscription. 
in Canada, we're still playing 10,600, but expect that to go up any time. Not so fast, Sally! And hopefully that comes with a subscription as well. Fingers crossed on that one. Is it worth it? Well, that's complicated. My goal of this video was to show you just what the differences were and what each system was capable of, so you can make an educated decision for yourself. I think for a long road trip, if you're just like, for me, that's what it is. And if your commute is mostly highway, regular autopilot will most likely do just fine. If you routinely drive within the city and love cutting edge software and are up for a bit of a gamble, then maybe FSD will be better suited. However, be warned that the software is not quite perfect yet. It's impacted by the weather sometimes, and there's lots of delays with it. If the subscription is available in your area, then I would say sign up for that and then try it out. That's really the only way to know. All right, I hope this video helped you out making a decision. If you, know, you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You got to do the notifications so that you get notified when I put out a new video, which is every week. All right, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week. Welcome back to Nord Tesla. We'll do... The question is, if you want kinds of decisions like auto beta, you'll have this fancy new visualization. I don't know how many videos I'm going to do that. I can mess. And while we're at it, I'll add FSD beta as well, since um, like uh, proceeding through the stoplights and red lights when you tell it to. The great thing with the great thing about or I'll then touch a bit. Now the differences between full. Uh, I'll then touch on a bit about...